Hi guys, welcome to my new or another edition of my vlog. This time I'll be talking about two most commonly knife knives that I carry. So for choice, I chose two items only. Just to let you know, I have carefully choos chosen my subject for this uh, evening's session. So to start with, please be aware that you are uh, on legal age to carry knives. For your information, Philippines has got their own knife laws. Though it's outdated, still you can be apprehended by law enforcers if you are being caught bringing knives without any purpose at all. So, yeah, to start with, you may do research for the Batasang Pambansa 6, where you can find the basic provisions of knife laws. And uh, how would it become legal for you to carry one. In my case, um, I usually carry them because I could always consider my knives as a tool. So I bring a knife because it aids me in my day-to-day -day chores or routines. Now, on, on, the, on the items that you're about to see, I have a fixed blade right here, which is basically a locally made knife made out of uh, Cebu grown uh, talent from the family of Monteith. No? Um, you can check the Facebook page if you want to see knives from Knife Maker Cebu. So this was gifted to me by uh, John Robert who, who runs the Knife Maker and his, uh, his mom. This is a fixed blade camp knife. And then this one also is gifted to me by one of the um, host of Tactical Survival Expo in 2019. So to start with, I've got a folding knife right here, which I carry most of the time, bringing uh, my EDC with me, or this part of my everyday carry. So very important with the knife is to keep your knife sharp all the time. A knife that is dull can bring you a lot of problems, cuts. Uh, it doesn't serve the purpose at all if you, you don't sharpen your knives, you know, and it can give you more more uh, problems later on especially when you try to use them so keep your knives sharp all the time as a bushcraft practitioner uh, we are always guided by the principle of bringing knives we always bring two knives with us all the time the principle goes like bringing one knife is none bringing two knives is one so one is none two is one so we always keep that in mind if one bugs out or bugs down, at least we have a, an alternate uh, knife to use along along the way. So, for you guys who are in uh, interested with knives, please uh, keep this as a guide for choosing your your knives later on. Now, I'll start talking about my fixed blade right here. I have a about a meter paracord, which also uh, gives me a leverage on doing some emergency chores just in case I need to set some some traps perhaps or I might use this to secure my tarp on a tent um, it's a multi-purpose equipment actually it looks like just an ornament but it's got a use all the time with us always keep this one it's got seven seven strands inside so when choosing a fixed blade I always choose a, a thicker one as you can see in this in this uh, uh, pick uh, in this in this side you would see about Two or 2.5 uh, millimeter width on the blade so if um, my my sheet right here is basically kydex so it, pre it prevents uh, I chose kydex because I want it to to be more sturdy uh, uh, I'm not fond of leather so I, I chose kydex as my as my sheet so if I'm gonna open this one up I'm gonna just gonna push it like this and then open up this way so as you can see I've got a little bit of oil in there and I've got a black part on top right here it's basically made of carbon steel so there are two bl common blades that you will see in the market today so you got carbon uh, carbon steel and you got stainless steels my folder is a stainless steel actually this one is carbon steel carbon steel on the other hand if you got if you got this part over time having the patina we call this patina black the black uh, oxidis oxid oxidation process not in a natural way it keeps your blade stronger so we keep the patinas on we just to secure the blade itself right here so i chose this uh camp knife to be a bit a bit uh, thicker because i want to do a lot of things 
with these knives. I can do cut some uh, wood blocks or woods as big as my wrist using techniques that we call battening. That's why I chose uh, to have a thicker blade like this. This has been with me for about two years. Still sharp. Okay. On the other hand, I've got my folder. Nothing against China, but uh, yeah, there are a lot of cheaper ones, but that has come with quality. This one is, I think, is still China made, but it's got a real good band. It's a banded uh, stuff. It's Spanish real steel right there. So it's got nice quality. That's why it's got a pretty good impression in the market. One thing about check, one thing about you need to check on your folders is the way it, it works. So I usually see that the, the, the clicks are quite audible and it deploys really fast when you use uh, your blades like this. Okay, it should click. And one more thing that I have to consider is the sturdiness of the blade right here. I usually hold my blade like this and move it this way. If it doesn't make any movement at all, I mean to say my blade is good. If your blade goes sideways when you use this one, then your blade is not that good. So yeah, this is a stainless steel, real steel. Quite sharp, I haven't sharpened it yet since from the factory it was given to me. So I hope this one guided you up in choosing your day-to-day -day blades. And uh, hopefully we can have uh, more talks about uh, preparedness and uh, a lot of more stuff in the next video. So don't, per don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell on the button below. And you can drop your comments if you wish to talk about or share about anything under the sun. So see you around and stay tuned for my next videos. Bye.